today in council, a memo has been presented by uh, us in aviation, and the amount of the contract to be awarded, whose purpose is to replace our IVO bridges, um, is 12 billion, 97 million, 215, 800.09 Naira, which is for 12 months and it will include 7.5% VAT. This contract is not only for supply, but it's also for installation and maintenance, including spare parts, and is awarded to a company called Gulf of Africa International Limited. Um, this has been taken by council and approved, and say that this is part of all that we've been doing to reactivate the failing infrastructure within the country. And of course, Lagos being the major airport in the country, and this will make passenger, passenger facilitation easier, safer, and of course, it will add value and create more efficiency within the system of that particular airport. And that this is also an ongoing program uh, for all of our failed airports. Thank you. Right. Well, so uh, the question regarding whether there is fuel contamination in the affects uh, civil aviation, as it were, you know, there is none, to my knowledge, as at now. Good morning. Good morning. The Ministry of Interior, through me, presented the advisory committee on Nigerian citizenship approval to the council today. And it's the first set by the end of this first quarter, or latest by the middle of the year, another set will be, will be, will be presented to council. But what is it about? We received 600 applications from several people, foreign nationals, who are in Nigeria, who have been residing in Nigeria, but desirous of being Nigerians. These applicants are from virtually every part of the world, Americans, North and South, Australian, Europeans, Arabs, Asians, all over. But out of the 600 applicants, the Arashi Committee approved for the constitution of the Council 280. And the Council rigorous, well, before the presentation, let me say, some agents of government must scrutinize these applicants. The agencies are the Department of State Security, the Foreign Affairs Ministry, the Immigration Service, Nigerian Immigration Service, and the state of domicile of those individuals. The states will give us their record of uh, relationship from the community to all the levels in the state to be sure that they are men and women of integrity and good character. So it is the combination of all of this that the Arashi Committee looked at to shortlist and recommend 280. Grant of Nigerian citizenship is in two, is, is in, is in two categories. There are those that we consider for naturalization and there are those we consider for registration. Who are the ones for registration? They are women married to Nigerians. They are called Niger wives. Who, besides, being, besides having the right of residency and movement without any restriction or without requirement of visa to and fro the country, are desirous of being Nigerians. So they become Nigerians. They get grant of citizenship by registration. Whereas foreign nationals who are desirous of being Nigerians, but not actually being wives of Nigerians, are given citizenship by naturalization. So the number of those 
who are granted Nigerian citizenship by naturalization through the collection of their, of their applications is 208. While those who are granted Nigerian citizenship by registration are 78. So today, the Federal Central Council approved the grant of citizenship to 208 applicants for naturalization and 70 applicants for registration, making a total of 286 people out of 600 who applied for citizenship as eligible to be fully processed through application of oath and certification thereafter, quit renunciation of citizenship that is not acquired by birth. So that is the, that is the uh, outcome or the first con fair consideration of a memorandum today. I thank you. Chief of Democracy, particularly uh, executive uh, system of government, is the separation of power. I would not want to even preempt what the National Assembly will come up with. So let's, let's in the spirit of the game, wait what the, fair, the National Assembly will say. My opinion does not matter. There's an agency. There's an agency, there's an agency of federal government that is doing its own lawful uh, service to the Nigerian people. And I don't believe that agency is either lacking or shacking those responsibilities. So let us await the outcome of the debate at the National Assembly and uh, we will get to it when and if that uh, motion of bill is uh, approved. So I have no opinion than to say that democracy permits everybody to air their own view, advance their own interest, and let's see how it plays out. I thank you. Council, the Federal Executive uh, Council closed out the construction, the contract of the construction of the 17-story local content building in Yenagoa. You will recall that in 2020, Mr. President already commissioned that project. There were some ancillary works that had to be done to connect some of the buildings, uh, and that was now presented to Council for the sum of 1.817 billion and this now closes out this contract and we have told the contractor this is the full and final payment for everything uh, so this is the end of this project and we have completely delivered this to Nigerians thank you thank you very much um, the issue did not come up in council, but of course you will recall I was here yesterday to brief Mr. President on the issue. I will not, uh, I'm not in a position to disclose the identities of the companies, but there are some issues and uh, we are actively tackling it. Um, methanol, no, no, uh, uh, nobody has before now checked for methanol in our fuel. It's, it's not uh, very usual, and uh, this is the first time this is happening, and NMPC is very much up to the task, uh, and I will uh, also convey your question to NMPC and uh, maybe the midstream and the downstream regulatory authority. But uh, we are actively handling it, and I want to assure you that uh, the problem uh, will be a thing of the past very, very soon. Oh, well, I, you, I don't expect you to rush to any conclusions. You know, there will be a, a major investigation uh, to unravel everything. And then let's really get to the bottom of it before um, uh, we can come back and tell you what is going to happen to the corporates. Uh, we know that uh, some people's vehicles must have also been damaged. That is also going to be taken into consideration in, uh, in, in, in dealing with the situation.